the channel um, I apologize that I've been away for two consecutive weeks um, it's been a little hectic life has been spinning just a little bit um, I think today I finally made the decision that I was just gonna come sit in the car take the plunge shoot the video <laughs> It's been a hectic um, few weeks, um, yeah, but I'll tell you guys about that another time. Right now, the purpose behind the video I wanted to shoot today is to simply talk to the poem, um, Stories Untold. And like I said in the description, this is a poem I wrote in 2018, which is two years ago. Um, it was a poem that came out of a very um, tough place because 2017 for me um, is a year that I like to think of in terms of well I like to define it as a year of just incredible loss in my life um, and I was just kind of going through a lot trying to come back from some of those losses to grieve you know to find um, my footing again and I wasn't really writing I wasn't really in a place where I felt like I was even feeling very much um, I was just a little numb and I was enjoying being in that place because I believe um, obviously when you lose a lot of people in your life that you love it it takes a lot to come back from that and there are a lot of emotions that you have to process a lot of fight that you need to pull out of you to get to a place where you can sort of stand on your feet a little bit and begin to come back to what is normal so basically it was simply just a time of hibernation so to speak so through that time, I think, like I said about this particular poem, is it's a poem that really did come um, calling out for me. It, it's, it's, it came seeking me. I didn't seek it. I wasn't trying to write about such um, a phenomenon. It was just, you know, I was just in, in a place where I was kind of fighting, surviving, doing the best I could at the time. So Ibe just randomly, like I would, I woke up on a particular day and there was one line that I had had and the line was... Um, um, because um, I know a lot of poets, I know a lot of guys that I grew up with um, in the streets of Maseru, you know, Kacha Snake, and those are the places that I grew up predominantly. And some of these people are writers, they're poets, they're people with incredible stories that they wanted to tell. And life has just happened, you know, for um, to say the very least. So, Batabana are no longer in a space where they are trying to share their work or they are trying to create art. And I think that for me is something that really struck me about a lot of us artists is you grow up and there's this really, really big idea and this excitement that, you know, like, I'm going to change the world, I'm going to do these wonderful things. And then you get older and you realize that life sort of changes and transforms right before your eyes and has to become about how do we pay the bills how do we make life do in those particular functional ways and eventually you find that the art that you had so held on to um, and were so excited to share and to make and recreate really takes a back seat as um, the fight for survival sort of takes over so i think i just was in that place and then I wrote that line down and after I wrote that line down it sort of um, built and became um, this really really great poem that I really enjoyed writing I, I think for me it is really a great poem obviously it's a poem that wrote me out of a really really difficult place so it has a really really special place in my heart and that's pretty much the story behind the poem It's simply just shining some light on um, just the dream, the poetry, the stories I want to tell and how when they go untold and they're suppressed how difficult it is for me to function and continue on because it's almost like they're looking for a place to sort of burst out of <laughs> and be heard so that's pretty much that about the poem um, I also really wanted to shoot the video because um, I wanted to introduce the next couple of videos that are coming um, I didn't just want to throw them out there because obviously you guys, I think you guys will love and enjoy them. But I really thought it was important for me to sort of set the stage for them as they come. So I know I talked about um, features. I talked about doing collaborations with other poets um, a couple of weeks back. Now, I have actually gone ahead and invited um, a poet that I love and celebrate so much. Um... Um, I don't just love and celebrate her because she's somebody that I've known since she was really little. Um, when I first met her, 
over 10 years ago now um, I used to teach her in Sunday school yes guys um, I guess you can guess my age that's how old I really am <laughs> so I used to be a Sunday school teacher and I taught her in Sunday school and obviously she was still really really small at the time I think she was in her early years of high school um if i'm not mistaken and you know um we've always sort of gotten along i've enjoyed her art very much over the years and she's always somebody that i always kind of bounce ideas off of even as i'm writing and i i send some of my poems to so that she can sort of give me some feedback because i really really do value um her outlook i value her work very much her name is Mpinele Tlala. <laughs> i should have asked for a drum roll before i said her name so she's um somebody whose work i love very much like i said and I called her up a couple of weeks ago just to say, you know, can you give me two poems? There are two poems of hers that I especially love. And I asked her if we could record those. And sure enough, she's in. So we did record them this past weekend. And I'm proud and excited to say that um, in the course of this week, I will share one of those poems. And I had actually asked her if she would be willing to do a sit down or an interview with me um, during... Um, the following week, uh, just speaking to the poem that I'll post and I don't think she was very keen on that So I'll check in again next week and see but if she's not keen then I'll just post two of the poems consecutively I'm also really excited because um, Also this past weekend um, Got diesel myself Mosa um, had the chance to shoot another one of my poems it's a poem I will talk about in a couple of weeks. Um, it's one that I really, really love very much because it's really um, a much softer, um, more uh, gentle, you know, feminine, um, really, really interacting with my heart and the needs, um, the need there for love, so to speak. Um, and so I'm, I'm really excited to share that footage with you guys when Katiso is done editing. Um, it was a really, really fun weekend because um, Lisa came along as well for the shoot. So as much as um, he, he was doing some of the work with us, but he was um, um, doing a lot um, in the background, you know, uh, and making it really amazing. So I'm really, really glad that I have this team of people to work with. And obviously I always try and celebrate them as much as I can. So um, you guys look out for that um, in the next couple of weeks. So that's pretty much that. I hope you guys are still good and I hope you're enjoying yourself. This is a really, really great day today because there's some drizzle in Maseru. So we're anticipating rain, praying for rain. <laughs> Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.